Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to fix the hole in the roof of my reefer trailer. The hole didn't go all the way through, it's just up there on top from what the Thermal King told me. Uh, aluminum is messed up and a little bit of that insulation foam. So let's go ahead and fix this real quick. So for this job we're gonna need a ladder that can reach the top of that roof safely. A sheet of aluminum, you don't need a sheet this big, but that's the only thing I could find at Love's, at, not Love's, Lowe's. Then these things, speed square, rivets, rivet gun, these scissors to cut the sheet, uh, aluminum sheet. This thing, whatever that is, foam, rivet gun, cock gun, cock. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> whoever called it that should not have called it that. And uh, tape measure, and I'm going to be using Flex Seal for this. I love this stuff, man. It is very good. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up and assess the hole myself, see how big it is, and we'll go from there. All right, first things first, let's climb up here and see what this hole looks like and measure it. Okay, that's not too bad. Looks like it's about four inches by four inches. All right, so first things first. I don't know if I should cut this to be 100% square. Actually, I'm just going to cut this piece off. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this piece off. And I'm going to leave the rest of this stuff like it is. Well, no, maybe trim some off over here. Okay, Okay. so for our next part, we're going to spray some of this in here. Okay, so now we're just going to leave this to dry for a minute while I'm cutting that uh, sheet of aluminum. And also, to get this done, you're going to need to have a drill and some drill bits to drill a hole where the rivets will go. You could use a Sharpie as well for this, but I did not remember to bring one. So we're going to cut it right up here like that. And this will be seven inches. I think Sharpie would have worked a lot better, but hey, it is what it is, buddy. All right. Then again, seven inches this way. Make sure you wear some gloves whenever you cut in this. You don't want to cut your finger. You're going to have to get a surgery. And it will never work again like it did before. Trust me. I know, buddy. I know. These three cut all the way to the bone. Had to get a surgery. And will never work right again. All right, so here it is. That's the best I could do with these stupid ass scissors because these are gardening they are not for cutting aluminum sheets so make sure you get yourself a proper sheet cutting shears or scissors whatever they're called this rivet gun you can find this at Amazon Walmart or even Harbor Freight and it's got these uh, different size tips for the different size rivets. Oh, I think I fucked something up. Well, let's see. Maybe not. Oh, okay, I didn't. So make sure you have it 
compressed like that before you take these off and put them on. And you can rotate this head whichever way you want. Alright, so I'm just going to drill one hole to try out the rivet. It's pretty tight, but it'll fit once I push it in. And now let's go up to the roof of the trailer. Alrighty, so that's the foam. It's not dry yet, but it doesn't matter. We're still going to go ahead and proceed. Oh, look at you, little buddy. That is good enough for me. We're going to throw that down, but we are going to pick it up, buddy, before we leave. All right, so now we're going to put this one up here. And we're going to drill a couple of holes. Come on. Through the trailer roof as well. Okay, hopefully that didn't go through the other way, the other way, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Alrighty, so then place this uh, piece of aluminum that you cut off up here and then just drill the holes slowly in it. You don't want to push down too hard because you don't want it to go through inside of your trailer. I think I fucked one up this one right here I think it went through uh, the inside but it doesn't matter I'll just put a lot of flex seal glue in it and I think it should be good okay so that's what the holes look like under this aluminum piece that I cut should be overlapping like that maybe even more I don't know but that's good enough for me well I just noticed on the other corner over there as well looks like there's a cut in it so whoever had this trailer before kind of went under the low bridge or something didn't tear everything up thankfully but yeah he tore up right here and over there on the other and I think right there I'm just gonna put like a heavy duty aluminum tape or something like that and I think it should be good for now but we'll see all right so now we're gonna put a bunch of this stuff, flex seal. Come on, baby. And I know this stuff works very good. This is the best glue that I was able to find or caulking. It's more like a paste. It's very hard to squeeze out because it's so thick. That's what she said. Probably this much of caulking is unnecessary, but I would rather overdo it than not do it enough. All right, so we're just gonna line up a couple holes and get it riveted. All right, just like that. I'm just gonna put a dab of this right over the hole. Just like that. Yep. All right, let's get the rest of these in. All righty. Well, we got all the rivets in. Now it's time for more glue. It's not going to be pretty, but it will hold the water, but it doesn't have to be pretty. I think it needs more glue. <laughs> Hell yeah, buddy. This stuff is very freaking thick. Flex seal, highly recommended.
Alrighty, there it is. That should be it. Alrighty, well, we got it fixed. I think that should be sufficient enough for me not to have any more problems. Tomorrow, I'm gonna fix this other side. There's a straight cut pretty much at the same spot on this other side. And, uh, but I'm gonna fix it the same way like I fixed that other side. I wanna make sure that it's fixed properly. I don't wanna just put a, a piece of tape over it and then have to redo it over tomorrow. I would have done it right now, but uh, this trailer side that I need to fix is turned towards the street. So I gotta move the truck somewhere uh, tomorrow. And uh, that way my ladder is on the sidewalk side. It's a lot safer. I don't wanna do it here. I don't want somebody hitting my ladder and then, you know, me falling down and maybe dying or even worse, just breaking my neck. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Hopefully you all have a good, uh, good day. And happy Easter to everybody. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday. Um, I got more work to do on the truck. Uh, but yeah, I'll make different videos on that. Hopefully one of these videos helps an owner operator or independent operator who wants to work on his stuff and, you know, save some money. Because anybody can do this. You don't have to take this stuff to a shop. But... I just got this trailer, as some of you know, and uh, I'm finding these little issues, but it is what it is. I flew my drone over the trailer before I bought it, but for some reason I didn't see the holes. Maybe I wasn't paying enough attention or the drone was too far up. Uh, but yeah, it's not a big deal. So, But anyway, everybody have a good day, have a good weekend, and I will see you on the next one. Be safe out there and take care of each other. And please, get the f out of cen center lane, bro. Center lane is passing lane for semi-trucks. Don't just camp there like a dumb idiot.